Welcome back to another vlog. These weeks are just flying by at the moment, especially since the kids have gone back to school. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. You guys know I have used and loved HelloFresh for what feels like forever. For me, what I love the most is the flexibility of the boxes. So you can have a box when you want one, you can skip a week when you don't want one, you can change your meals, tailor them, find things within um, the app that like suit every member of the family and then also take and add out ingredients as and when it kind of suits you. Um, if you guys want to try it out yourself, there is a link down in the description box and it will give you 60% um, off your first box and then 20% off your next two boxes using the code Meldrum. Um, and I'm gonna show you later on what I'm making for dinner tonight. But for now, it is time to go and walk the dog. Good morning, happy Monday. We are back to school today and we are all up and organized and ready this morning. So much so that I said, I'm just gonna nip out for 20 minutes with the dog. Everybody was done, hair was done. Everybody was organized and it's been a very nice smooth morning. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go and do 20 minutes now and then I can do 20 minutes later on um, or half an hour later on and that will be one task of my day ticked off. I don't know what it is about a Monday morning and like the school going back. It's like, feels like the start of a new year. I feel so like productive and good and like, ah, oh, I'm gonna get so much done. I mean, probably do it till the end of the day and then I'll be back into my lethargic, unmotivated self. But for right now, I'm feeling good. I just went on a quick walk to the farm because yesterday the girls were on a bike ride, well, the little two were on a bike ride with Lee and saw three baby lambs actually being born. How special is that? And they were standing chatting to the farm for ages. He was like, come and watch, come closer, come and see what's happening. So the girls were delighted telling me about that when they got back from their bike ride. Um, and then me and the eldest went out on a walk later on in the evening and saw the baby lambs. And I thought, they're just so cute. So we just went to have a wee look at them and they're just gorgeous. I just love lambs. In fact, I love all baby animals. They're just the cutest, aren't they? Um, so the plan for today is walk the dog. He is here and then do the school run. And then I'm not sure if we'll be going for coffee this morning. I've kind of earmarked that we might be going for coffee. There's no chats yet of going for coffee with the school mums, but generally after some time away from school, even though we've all seen each other loads through the holidays, we generally do like to go for a Monday morning debrief. <laughs> so we might end up doing that um, or maybe not. And then I'm gonna come home. I've got a bag of stuff from Primark, I picked up a couple, not a bag of stuff, a couple of outfits from Primark. And I've also had a H&M H&M order delivered. So I wanted to do two little reels with them or for Instagram um, and a couple of other bits and bobs that I want to do. Then I'm gonna go to the gym before doing school pickup this afternoon. And then it's a jazzercise night tonight. So can you tell I'm feeling very motivated? Um, but I will keep you posted on how my day pans out. And it looks like we're going for our post holiday coffee debrief, which will be delightful. So nice being back with my chums in the playground, catching up and all the girls. Uh, we're so lucky, like our kids are all besties and seeing them all just like delighted to be back at school was just really nice, a, re a rarity for us as well. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this will continue because it was just lovely seeing them all just really excited. And um, they'll probably, they'll probably uh, pick up, come out like broken, defeated little six-year-old souls. But for now, they are happy and they're in and we are going to catch up over coffee. <sighs> I have just been to the gym. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is currently hail stoning, stoning? <laughs> stoning ginormous hailstones right like three minutes before school pickup. And I've, cause I stayed in the gym, I'm re parked really far away. So I've now got to get to school in these ginormous oh. hailstones and then get back to the car with the kids. Oh my goodness me, it is gross. Look, I don't know how well you can see, but look at this 
What a workout that was. Oh, such a good jazz class. 523 calories I burnt in an hour then. It was really hard, but really good. And now I am absolutely starving. It is dinner time. It's time for dinner and tonight's HelloFresh is this creamy miso mushroom rigatoni with spinach and cheese. The mushrooms and the garlic are currently doing their thing. Lee is on cooking duty tonight. It is so nice having him cook dinner and he isn't bothered because this is one of the 20 minute quick dishes and it's also one of your five a day. I'll show you how it looks when it's all finished but it is going to be delicious. We're just going to be leaving the spinach out of this one and adding it in to just mine and Lee's meals because the kids are not a fan of spinach, but this looks absolutely delicious. And just a little reminder that if you guys want to try out... If you want to try out HelloFresh yourself, you can scan this QR code or there is a link down in the description box. You can use the code MELDRUM. That will give you 60% off your first box, 20% off your next two months worth of boxes and some free gifts as well. It's super easy. The app is great to navigate and um, you will definitely find something that you love on there as well for you and the whole family. Oh my goodness me, what a beautiful day it is. I've been at Jazz this morning and it's Tuesday today. Jazz and now I'm out with Bertie in the sunshine. It's still only like eight degrees, so it is cool, but I am not complaining because the sun is shining, the sky is blue, and it is a beautiful day. Littlest is at Rainbows and we are heading for a rummage in the local charity shop. <laughs> How cute is this? It's uh, the most adorable little candle stick holder, which I love. Flurry's giving it the thumbs up. <laughs> it's going to go in the blue room on the mantelpiece. And I love it. And it was £1.99 and I rounded up by a penny, so it was £2. Gorgeous. We're on a roll today. We've been to the gym, haven't we, Melders? We've been to the gym. Here and had a chicken salad thing for my lunch and then we lit the fire in the blue room which is obviously cream and looking glorious and um, look i've got my little remember my thing that i picked up yesterday in the charity shop look she looks so cute just need to little, get a little candle in it now um here's one i'll test it out with this one oh melt look looks perfect i just need to trim the wick on this she was. It's cute, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, and now someone that I know locally was getting rid of some plants from her garden. She was dividing them up and I've managed to claim one. So I'm going to go and pick it up and then going to go out for a nice coffee. Just Lee and I. Um, Bertie's definitely not allowed on the sofa in here. It's unbelievable. Don't get so for absolute murder. <laughs> Mel's given us a fashion show. He's just bought a new shoot, sh shoot, shoot, a new shirt. Oh, oh, the Crocs are revived. <laughs> are you just kicking them off, babe? Oh, you, you don't need to hide your Crocs. Um, he's been on a shopping trip. It's my birthday on Saturday, and we're going out for dinner with some friends. And he's like, "Oh, bought a new shirt for your birthday night out." God knows what I'm gonna wear. You'll be fine. You've got loads. You've got like. Are we going fancy? That top looks alright, doesn't it? I like the top. Yes. Yeah, I'll just go like, I mean, I've got a t-shirt on here. I don't know if it's a snug fair or what. No, I think it looks nice. Yeah. Where did you get it from? Guess. Zalando. Zalando. Lee does all his shopping on Zalando. Uh, it was, uh, what was it, 35% off, and then they did a thing where it was an additional 15, so it was like 50% off. Nice. We're having a very lazy afternoon. Um, I'm trying to fix a chainsaw and all sorts out there. Well, okay, I am having a very lazy afternoon. It's not often we don't do the school run, but Lee's mum's picking up the girls from school. So we've got the fire on and we're just chilling. I've just planted up a new plant out the front and I've been tending to my baby seedlings in the greenhouse. We've done a couple's workout together, haven't we, babe? We have, yeah. And um, we booked the second leg of our holiday. I'm going to tell you about it because I'm very excited. I can't remember. Have I told you that we're going to Morzine? I've lost track. We're going to Morzine. Yes, it is a ski resort, but it is also like a summer resort. It's totally different to any kind of holiday that we have ever done before as a family, really, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, I feel like it's a really wholesome holiday <laughs> because normally we go and we're like in an all-inclusive we're by a pool it's very like chill vibes and you know we just 
chill and enjoy the warmth and the food. Um, but this one, we're actually doing, <laughs> we're all doing the Spartan race. Different levels of it, obviously. I'm not exactly going to enter. Uh... Oh, you bought some pants as well. Oh, they're little wee ones. I didn't want wee ones. Oh, they look cute. I know, but they're going to be right up my backside, aren't they? They'll be fine. Um, <laughs> different levels of the Spartan race. Um, that was the whole reason for the trip, because we're going with friends, and two of the friends are competing in the Spartan Ultra 50k mental race and we're doing the 5k one with obstacles and the kids are all doing various kids ones and it should be really nice so we're all staying in a big chalet together how many of us is there five ten fourteen yeah fourteen of us um for a week in Marzine. there's a lovely local little pool there is lovely bars and restaurants and brie and wine and goat village yeah it just it sounds idyllic and lovely and the chalet looks great and it's just set beautiful scenery and we're just really looking forward to it anyway coming home from there we booked our flights going out we booked our chalet that was all hunky-dory coming home the flights were really expensive flying back to edinburgh so we always knew we were going to do something instead of flying directly home because we had time it's in the summer holidays and we had time before lee has to go offshore we've got five days so we the plan was to go to london and if you follow me on instagram then oh the dog no um you will have seen i was talking about london and whether we should do the harry potter world and yada 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 accommodation in london is extortionate like so so expensive i don't know if it's when you're a family of five or just in general it's just mega bobs um so but the flights were cheap to get to London. The accommodation was expensive. So we were looking at all different options. There's like Copenhagen, Rome, Ibiza, London, basically just everywhere that you could fly to from Geneva. Um, and we wrote, I mean, we've been at it for days and days and oh, days and days, sick haven't of we? Looking, to be honest. I got sick. You got sick of looking. Okay, you did the majority of it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and then in the end lee said he didn't really fancy our city break after being in morzine which will be probably quite busy and active he wanted like to relax so we are going to mallorca Brilliant. flights were dirt cheap to get from geneva to mallorca the accommodation for is it five nights or four uh, nights five nights five nights in mallorca was just about the same as three nights in london and then the flight home was a little bit more expensive, but fine, worth it. Worth it. So that's what we're doing. What a trip, Morzine to Mallorca. <laughs> random, isn't it? It's so it? random, but so fun. Um, great start to the summer holidays as well. The kids are all absolutely buzzing. Obviously, they're going away with their pals. It's like they're our like best friends that we're going away with. So it's going to be really, really good. We're all dead excited. Um, I'm most excited about the fact that in the local town pool, in the Morzine pool, the men have to wear speedos. I'm getting my uh, bungee <laughs> smugglers. Budgie. Budgie. <laughs> they're not allowed in unless they're wearing budgie smuggler speedos. So, um, looking forward to that. Anyway, that's what we booked. We did it yesterday, all finalised, booked it, packed it, done. Um, and... And that's where we're at, at. Don't tickle me. That's where we're at. And now we're just having a very relaxing afternoon, aren't we? Yeah, nice and chill with no kids. We went out for coffee and I went out and picked up a plant. Planted it? Just got back. I'm resting. <laughs> you don't see I'm resting. I Planted right. my other plant, though. Right. Oh, the one with the white leaves? Yeah. Nice. Petals. 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 Um... And I've just had another seed delivery from Farmer Gracie and I'm waiting for my new seed trays to arrive from Amazon. Was that an Amazon delivery that came? That was my stuff there. Oh, nothing else? No. I don't think Amazon's been yet, has he? So I'll show you all of them when I unbox them all and get them all plaited up. Usually each summer I go and drop quite a bit of money in the lo not the local garden centre because it's very expensive, but another little bit like a nursery not a garden center um on summer plants but this year i've decided to spend a lot more on seeds now that i've got my greenhouse and try my best to get as much going 
from seed as I possibly can because seeds are really inexpensive but flowers are really expensive so we'll see how we get on. Can what? you still only plant those at certain times of the year in the greenhouse? Uh, no, the greenhouse is pretty warm now so I can get anything going in the greenhouse. But like you couldn't do that January kind of time? Oh no, far too cold. I'd need a greenhouse heater which it might be something that I look into next year. Yeah. Um, I don't think they're much. I was chatting to mum and dad about them and dad said that the smell of greenhouse, it used to be a paraffin heater when he was a kid uh, and right. that like reminds him of his granddad, that like smell, permanently smell of it. Gee whiz. I know. I don't know what it is now. I'm not really clued up on greenhouse heaters. It's tricky here as well because we're basically living in the Antarctic in Scotland. Everything <laughs> flowers so much later. So when I'm yeah, following... Like June. <laughs> I'm like July, August even. I'm a total garden novice and i follow lots of gardening accounts but you can't really follow along because the majority of them are down south and it is completely different up here because it's so much colder like the rest of the country all of their daffodils and tulips are finished now and they're lifting them out where i was haven't even flowered crazy anyway that's all my gardening chat look at this naughty dog unbelievable so Happy Saturday guys. Today is my 35th birthday and I'm feeling very old. I spent the morning at the gym with some friends for a cuppa and then we watched the Scottish powerlifting competitions which is just amazing. They're so strong. It's really like inspiring. I find it quite emotional though, you know, because they have to get three white lights which means that every judge has said yes, yes, yes. And um, if they don't then like their faces and oh, I just find what is it that to show that they've done the full technique correctly yeah so. like a deep squat didn't stumble lift like lifted it well if they like stumble or don't squat deep enough then they they don't get three white lights yeah. it like comes up on the screen um and then you can do it three times so like one of the guys got like three crosses and then he came back to do it again and then he got two white lights and then on the third one he got three white lights and everyone's like Way! um but we didn't it was all men this morning and then later on we left stayed for a couple of hours and then they were doing bench and then ladies were coming up this afternoon um but it's really good to watch and our gym is like the best it's so like welcoming to everybody and obviously does the best coffee anyway now we are heading out for lunch with my parents and sister and us guys um for a nice birthday lunch so that will be nice we're going to the place remember how i told you about the salad that i had when i did my yoga retreat so we're going to the place that supplied the food that day because apparently that salad is now on the menu so i'm really excited for that Looking good. Feeling good? Feeling good. Just wish I'd managed to get my hair appointment before. But you know me and my hair. Never, never quite satisfied with it, are we? <laughs> looks awesome. Looks Thanks. great. You look Thanks. Delicious. Thanks. <laughs> look at that. How good does that look? Right, I'm signing off now. Lee's trying to make me keep on going, but I'm signing off now. Keep going. It is my 35th birthday, and I will see you all in next week's vlog. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers! <laughs>